Hi everyone, I'm Roxana Halls and I'm a painter from London. Thanks Anna McNay for inviting me to speak to everyone and thanks to the Artist Viral Network for creating this fantastic platform. It's been really fascinating seeing other artists' videos and hearing about books which have moved and inspired them. At the moment I'm reading a really fantastic memoir called Motherwell. A Childhood by Deborah Orr and I love it, it's really beautifully written and I really recommend it but it's not the book that I wanted to talk to you about because I've only just started it really. Um, I wanted to talk to you about a book which I absolutely adore, one of my favourite books called Housekeeping by Marilyn Robinson and it just feels very, very uh, resonant right now. Uh, this book was given to me about 17 years ago and I've read it read it a couple of times. It was given to me by then, my then flatmate um, and I found this card inside it uh, which from when she gave it to me and it's uh, this lovely artwork by Joseph Cornell which I really love. Um, and she writes, Dear Roxana, thank you so much for the introduction to the world of knitting. I'll explain. Uh, it's the only club I want to be a member of. This book is one half of an extremely delayed birthday present, I forgive you. I thought it had some beautiful images in it. I hope you enjoy. Well, I more than enjoyed this book. I kind of feel like it seeped into me, much like the waters of Fingerbone Lake, which features so prominently in the novel. Um, knitting. So it was a gift. Um, she gave it to me because I taught her how to knit. She was She's an actor and she was um, playing a lead role at the Manchester Royal Exchange and her character would knit incessantly and she didn't know how to do it. So, so I taught her. Um, why am I telling you this? Um, it kind of struck me as a, a lovely um, metaphor for... Um, for this book, in a way, you know, it's it evokes something which is sweet and cosy when you think of knitting, but it's actually something which is made of sharp objects. Um, in a way, so Marilyn Robinson has described this book as being about a kind of exercise in how far you can explore a metaphor, the metaphor of housekeeping. Um, and that's something which I certainly do a lot in my own work when I, I make images about laughter. The book centres around two sisters, Lucille and Ruthie. Ruthie um, is our narrator. She could be considered an unreliable narrator, perhaps. Um, Lucille and Ruthie are orphaned when their mother decides to drive herself into Fingerbone Lake. Mm -hmm. Subsequently, they're parceled off to different relatives until finally their dead mother's sister, Sylvie, um, comes to live with them. Sylvie is a fascinating character. Um, she's really beguiling. She's really strange. She's itinerant. She wanders. Um, she's constitutionally unable to conform. Um, she elects not to bother with and not to function in the world, the normal world, in a manner which is initially really engaging, but at the end is really quite disturbing. Um, she's been described as a siren of the open road, endlessly moving. Marilyn Robinson has described this book as being about loneliness and about the value of loneliness. And that's something which has become really pertinent for so many of us. Um, she's talked about being a child and about how she was brought up to think of loneliness about the, as being a, a privileged state and that to enjoy loneliness and to enjoy solitude was not at all considered deviant but rather it was something um, which if you learned how to use it wisely and learned how to occupy yourself productively within it um, would, would mean that you could give yourself a mind that you wanted to live with. This is something which obviously a lot of us have been thinking about lately as artists, people who generally enjoy solitude and who are accustomed to it and have the apparatus to deal with it. Although that hasn't been the case for quite a lot of people. I have a lot of friends who found that they were really unable to work and have found it really difficult. Um, I've talked often about how uh, the benefits as I see them of, as ha of having been brought up in the 70s, being a child of the 70s, and to have known crushing boredom, and to have had to find a way of dealing with that, to have um, had a real dearth of distraction as a child, and having to, to find a way to occupy myself productively. And, and uh, certainly I've become somebody who loves my solitude and uh, needs it. Um, Marilyn Robinson has also said that this book is, a, is about um, 
is about individuals whose lives would not be considered of note or value if you didn't spend a bit of time within their minds. Um, that The same could be said of many of her books. Um, I'd really recommend reading everything she's written. She's an exceptionally beautiful, subtle writer. Um, her Gilead trilogy of novels is um, so stunning. Um, Sarah Churchwell memorably said of Home, the second in the trilogy, um, that it was the saddest book that she'd ever loved. And uh, to some extent, I think you could say that about housekeeping, but it's also charming, witty, strange, moving, um, and entirely memorable. Um, Sylvie um, is someone who is inexorably drawn towards nature, who's endlessly pulled into nature. Certainly that's something which a lot of us have been thinking about a great deal lately. It's also one of the, a book which, a very rare book, which has been successfully adapted into a film, a really beautiful film made by Bill Forsyth. And um, Roger Ebert, film critic, um, said of Sylvie that she, um, that she could be described as a mad woman, but that he said that he had seen a character who seemed closer to a mystic or a saint. I kind of feel about housekeeping that um, it's one of those books that um, you. I wouldn't say that it necessarily inspired me as such, although it has, but rather it's one of those pieces of work that you kind of feel that you, you're already an occupant of, as though you're already an inhabitant to finger bone this small town, small, um, this small town in the vast northwest of America in the 50s and 60s. Um, when I read it, I kind of felt like I was already an inhabitant in the book. Home is not a stable place. It's not doesn't necessarily represent security and certainty at all. And that's a theme that I explore a lot in my work. And Sylvie, I, I rather feel that the character of Sylvie is someone that I recognise, someone who makes a kind of sense to me. I'd almost go so far as to say that um, there's a germ of Sylvie in all of my laughing women. I kind of think if you read this, anyone who read this book would would get those paintings a lot, a lot more. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to read you a very short passage here from the book. Um, for we had to leave. I could not stay and Sylvie would not stay without me. Now truly we were cast out to wander and there was an end to housekeeping. I hope that you are well and I hope that you read something by Marilyn Robinson at some point because she's, she's a tremendous writer. <laughs>